Our bodies contain around 60 to 70% water. If we don't top it up from time to time, this quality can reduce significantly, which can lead to a lot of health problems. Hi viewers and welcome back to Bestie. We lose water from our bodies every day, be it through simple breathing, sweating, crying, urination, and even stool. It can get dehydrated very easily. Water helps you stay hydrated, keeps the organs functioning, brain working, and makes you feel good in general. Unfortunately, most of us don't get enough water on a day-to-day -day basis, but your body will give you signals to indicate you're not drinking enough. And in today's video, we'll tell you what these signs are. From unexplained headaches, bad breath, frequent illnesses, muscle cramps to dry skin and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. Number one, slow digestion. Digestion can slow down for all sorts of reasons. It could be something that you've eaten or an illness but a lack of water can make an impact on digestion. When you're not getting enough, you may notice that it slows down significantly. You might have stomach aches or random cramps. If this is happening to you for no apparent reason, you might try drinking more water and see what happens. What foods throw your digestion out of whack? Tell us quickly down below in the comment section. Number two, unexplained headaches. Headaches are a complicated phenomenon. For many, we don't know the cause and we never find out. It could be a food sensitivity, stress, an illness, or you guessed it, dehydration. Dehydration can cause headaches that hit you out of nowhere. While over-the-counter pain relievers can provide some relief, the only cure is to rehydrate the body and keep it that way. Number three, you're constantly thirsty. It's probably a no-brainer to say that if you're thirsty, it means you need more water. If you're feeling a little parched, it could mean that you're more dehydrated than you think. A great way to check is by taking note of how many times you go to the bathroom. The average person should be going to the bathroom about four to 10 times a day. This statistic is also contingent on your age and if you're taking medication. But it's probably not normal if you're at the office all day and don't go to the bathroom at least once. Ultimately, if you believe that your body is dehydrated more than the average person, set alarms on your phone to remind you when you should rehydrate. Number four, bad breath. While your bad breath may stink because of that garlic dish you had for lunch, you may want to down a glass or two of water to increase the saliva in your mouth for fresher breath. Dehydration can cause the bacteria that live in your mouth to multiply as the mouth dries out. Drinking a few glasses of water in between meals can help flush out food particles. This will maintain the right amount of saliva you should have in your mouth. When you're not drinking enough water, the production of saliva slows down, which has antibacterial properties. This makes bacteria grow faster inside your mouth. Number five, decreased energy levels. Do you feel constantly tired all the time that you low key wanna take a nap every single day? Incorporating more water into your daily routine can keep your nap time at bay. Being dehydrated decreases your blood circulation, which can make your body wanna conserve its energy. When your muscles don't receive enough oxygenated blood, it can cause them to cramp when you work out. This will make them feel fatigued. If you feel this is occurring during your exercise routine, don't push yourself. Stop, drink water, and rest if you need to. Number six, frequent illness. Water helps flush toxins, waste, and bacteria from the body. This helps it fight disease and infection as well as strengthens your immune system so you become sick less frequently. If it seems as though you're always getting sick, you may need to start drinking more water. This will keep your body free of toxins and functioning at an optimal level. Number seven, constipation. Water promotes good digestion and regular bowel movements by keeping your stool soft and moving it easily through the digestive tract. Not drinking enough can cause your body to pull water from stool to compensate for fluid loss. If your bowel movements are irregular, try drinking more water to loosen your stools and relieve constipation and bloating. Number eight, watery eyes. A lack of water intake leads to dry bloodshot eyes. Without water in the body, your tear ducts dry up. When your body senses that your eyes are not moist enough, it tries to remedy the problem by producing an abundance of tears. Number nine, sugar cravings. Dehydration interferes with your body's ability to reach into glucose stores for energy. This can trigger cravings for foods high in sugar and carbohydrates. Unusual and sudden cravings for sugary foods like chocolate, donuts, cookies, and candies may indicate that your body is in great need of water, not food. If you're experiencing sugar cravings or hunger pangs, even though you've recently eaten, try drinking more water to rehydrate your body and keep cravings at bay. Number 10, 
Dark urine. If you're taking fewer than four to five trips to the toilet during the day and your urine is dark yellow instead of pale or clear, you're likely not getting enough fluid. While it's recommended that we drink six to eight glasses of fluid a day, it's not only water that counts towards hydration. You can also go for plain tea, fruit tea, and low-fat milk as good alternatives. However, water should be your go-to drink of choice to avoid excess calories. Number 11, muscle cramps. When your body loses enough fluid, it's unable to cool itself off adequately, leading to heat illness. One symptom to look out for is muscle cramps, which can happen while exercising, particularly in hot weather. The hotter you get, the more likely you are to get muscle cramps, and that's from a pure heat effect on the muscles. As the muscles work harder and harder, they can seize up from the heat itself. Changes in the electrolytes, such as sodium and potassium, can lead to muscle cramping as well. Even in cooler weather, dehydration is possible if you don't drink enough fluids while working out. Symptoms may be milder or come on slower, but dehydration carries the same risks, regardless of the temperature outside. Number 12, low blood pressure. More than half of the blood in the body is plasma, the liquid part of the blood. Plasma is made up of water, protein, and salt. Without enough water in your plasma, your blood will become more concentrated, and it will be a lot more difficult for it to flow through the body to the organs that need it, leading to lower blood pressure levels. Water also carries hormones and nutrients to their destinations. So when fluid consumption is reduced, this procedure starts to slow down, causing many bodily dysfunctions. It may also lead to a drop in blood pressure, which can lead to dizziness. You may also experience a faster heartbeat as the heart tries to increase low blood pressure. What's worse than low blood pressure? You guessed it, high blood pressure. And it's very important to recognize its signs so that you can take action immediately. To know what they are, watch this video titled Nine Signs of High Blood Pressure You Should Never Ignore. Now back to signs you're not drinking enough water. Number 13, dry skin. Water hydrates and plumps skin cells to make your skin look brighter, vibrant, and more youthful. However, lack of it can cause the skin to lose its plumpness and elasticity. This can lead to dryness, flakiness, fine lines, wrinkles, and sagging skin. Water helps to reduce acne and other skin problems by flushing harmful toxins from your body. If beauty products and skin treatments are failing to improve the appearance of your skin, drink more water to achieve a more youthful appearance and to reduce skin problems. Number 14, not sweating during exercise. So what happens if you don't sweat during a workout? It could mean your body is liquid deprived. Typically our bodies overheat during exercise and we sweat to keep our core body temperature regulated. If there isn't enough water to produce sweat, our body can't regulate itself. This can be very dangerous as it may lead to overheating or heat stroke. Number 15, joint pain. Although drinking water might not cure arthritis or any other causes of joint pain, increasing the amount you drink can help treat some of the painful symptoms of these conditions. You might see fluid retention in your ankles and fingers when you're not drinking enough water. It's important for lubricating joints, so drinking water can help with joint pain. Number 16, kidney problems. Not having enough water can lead to a urinary tract infection, which can lead to a kidney infection. Kidneys filter your blood, which is mainly water. So if you're on the dehydrated side, it puts extra stress on your kidneys. Drinking plenty of water can also prevent kidney stones. Okay, now you know the signs that you don't drink enough water. So what happens when you are drinking enough? Get to know more about this by watching eight health benefits of drinking water or learning about how much water you should drink every day. These two videos will definitely help make sure you drink enough water for a healthier body. How much water do you drink every day? Is it enough? Let us know in the comment section below.